there are rules that controls the individual in his dealings with himself and with his surroundings. And there are also rules that controls the individual's relations with his society. Man is destined to live in this life with his peers and his likes, as he is a social being who cannot be isolated and can't live alone. That is why the book The Power of Social Intelligence by the author Tony Buzan highlighted the path to social intelligence as intelligence had been a particular characteristic of the individual only, and the book also unequivocally confirms that dealing with social situations is not an easy thing. It is much more than that when it turns into a lifestyle, techniques and means that approach the realms of beauty and art. In order not to turn his words into empty slogans, the author proposes a set of techniques that help improve dealing with others, and provide the appropriate atmosphere for social relations that are characterized by harmony, love and understanding, instead of turning them into severe conflict situations, just as what happens today. The Power of Social Intelligence 10 Ways to Tap into Your Social Genius by Tony Buzan. The book presents a general concept of social intelligence. According to the author, it means the ability to know yourself and others, read their thoughts, have positive communication techniques with them, and acquire approaches that encourage improvement, creativity, communication and support. This social intelligence also includes ways to face the large amount of problems, and know how to solve them. This seems easy at first glance, but its practical applications make it very difficult. So the person with social intelligence has to be an excellent speaker, a good listener, and has the ability to communicate effectively and successfully with the wider world. In order for a person to reach this intelligence, he must write down all his strengths and weaknesses. And the points that you may think about in your life include all of the following elements, listening to others, awareness of how they feel, the way that makes others love you or hate you, and your view and behavior towards yourself. It also includes your positive attitudes towards others, and how to deal with them. Bit to remember, social intelligence is the ability to know yourself, know others, and read their thoughts. God created the human body in a creative way, and made every movement in it with a balance, significance and meaning. That is why psychologists, in the ancient and modern age, have been interested in the body language and its various expressions at different moments. This indicates that most of your communication with others depends on your body language, and in fact studies have proven that 55% of any communication process takes place through the body. This means that your body transfers your state to others without any words or conversations. So also people's bodies are indications and keys in order to know what is going in their minds. After knowing all of the above, you should ask the following questions. Who am I? The secret of social intelligence and your superiority in communicating with others lies in knowing yourself first. Who are you? The secret of social intelligence also lies in knowing who you communicate with, and this is done through their body language, smiling in their faces, realizing how well your actions match your words, and using the appropriate emotional gestures for each situation. Bit to remember, body language is your secret in order to understand others. Man is inherently a social being, and he has no ability to continue this life except in cooperation and solidarity with others of his kind and his peers. Here we can understand the words of Leonardo da Vinci, most people listen without seeming to respond. It is an existential trouble that people prefer to talk and speak out loud without having the ability to listen, and this is confirmed by the reality and events that the modern man lives. We rarely pay attention to the necessity and inevitability of listening, and we continue our conversation without paying attention to the danger of neglecting this important factor in the communication process. Among the complex and ugly things in the communication that harm your social intelligence, and underestimate yourself, is pretending to listen, while doing other things at the same time, or chewing gum, or eating. Or everything that disturbs good listening and expressing your focus and listening to what is being said, in addition to the impression that the other person might take when you behave unethically. 
Bit to remember, good listening increases the chances of effective communication. This life needs abilities that make one able to continue it without much trouble. And since man is a social being, establishing relationships with others is the first step on the perfect way. The more relationships you have, the more your chances of developing and growing your social intelligence, the more people love you, the more you enjoy life, and the better your health. If you want to have positive and effective relationships, you must bear in mind the importance of impressions, and this means that your mind recalls all the things that it sees or learns for the first time in a better way than it sees and learns afterwards. The individual is considered socially intelligent when he lasts in the first meetings, and others always remember him by his warm feelings, positivity, and caring about others. To achieve this, it is necessary to be sure of the body language used, to act confident and positively, and to increase the trust in you. Bit to remember, building positive relationships with others is one of the secrets of social intelligence.